Investigating Pasco County deputies have made an arrest in the rash of break ins at local VFW halls. Turns out it's a teenager they picked up. Avery Cotton is joining us live from Pasco County with that story. And this kid arrested, he was sort of the lookout in this whole process, it sounds like. So deputies still have some work to do. That's right, Keith. He admitted to being a lookout here at the VFW in Newport Ritchie. While a group of people broke in and burglarized the place, it's that group of people deputies are searching for tonight. This is the video that had the Pasco County Sheriff tip line flooded with calls. A group of people burglarizing local VFW halls. It's a slap in the face of these veterans, so we take it very serious. We're very aggressive with that. The surveillance video led to the arrest of 16-year-old Giovanni Gonzalez. He admitted he was a lookout at an American Legion post and this VFW hall less than two miles from each other. My husband was in the military for 22 years. Carol Austin lost her husband eight years ago. She was released leave to see an arrest in this case. It's the only thing that the veterans have to look forward to is their American legions and their VFW somewhere to go and, um, you know, uh, come as a, as a family together with, you know, former military people. This is sacred ground. Kim Dawson is a canteen manager at one of the halls Gonzalez hit. What do they know what the veterans have done for them? You know, they're able to walk the streets and do unfortunately what they want to do. Not always good because of who and what they have sacrificed. Gonzalez wasn't working alone. Deputies believe he is involved with this group of young thieves who have broken into VFWs at least seven times throughout three counties. While it's a good break in the case, they hope to get more information from both him and the public to put the rest of them behind bars. Sheriff Nako uh, always preached that we fight as one, and that's the public to the sheriff's office fight as one. Now, we learned Gonzalez attends a Schwetman Education Center. That's a school for kids with disruptive behavior. Deputies do tell us both he and his parents have been cooperative in this investigation. They do expect more arrests in the coming days. Meanwhile, if you have any information that could help, call the Pasco County Sheriff's Department. Keith? Sounds like a good lead for the rest of the arrest to come. Thank you. Avery Cotton, live in Pasco County.